Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL interview questions that is being asked in a HCL interview recently. Uh, given as the two tables, table one, table two, uh, we have an ID with the uh, records one, one, two, null, null, and the table two with ID having a uh, records one, three, null. The question is um, how many records you will get for each and every join? For inner join, how many records will get for left join, right join, full join, and cross join? How many records will get? Okay. Uh, let us understand how giants work in SQL. Um, so we'll be covering how many records we'll get for uh, each and every join. And also we'll be executing these queries in SSMS. Uh, we'll also see how many records we'll get over there. Okay. Uh, to start with the inner join, inner join basically gives only a matching records from uh, both the tables. Uh, to start with the uh, one, so we have our uh, two tables considering a table one as a left table and uh, table two as a right -hand table. So we'll be joining uh, both table one and table two to see how many records we'll get for inner join. Uh, so basically inner join gives only matching records from both the table. So to start with one, so this one from the left side table, I uh, will check with the uh, every record on the right side of uh, right side table for a uh, matching records. So to start with one, so one with the one, it is a matching. Uh, we'll get uh, this record in the output. Next uh, one with the three is not matching. So it can be ignored. Uh, one with the null. So it is also not matching. It can be ignored. So with this one, we get a uh, one matching combination. So that is a one record. In the similar way, next one. So this next one also will try to match with the, all the other records in the right side table. So to start with one, we'll try to match with the one. Yes, this is matching. So we'll get that record in the output. Now one with the three, it is not matching. So this can be ignored. One with the null, this is also not matching. This will also be ignored. So with this record, we'll get only one match in record. So this will get in the output. Now the similar way, next record two will try to match with the other records in the right side table. So to start with the two with the one, it is not matching. It can be ignored. Two with three, not matching. It can be ignored. Two with null, also not matching. It can be ignored. So with the record two, we are not getting any matching combinations. So that can be ignored. Now in the similar way, for null. So null, uh, basically null represents uh, no value. So no nulls cannot be same. So null will not uh, match with any of other records. Even it cannot match with a null as well. So that is the reason you don't get any records as a matching combination for null. Uh, so it can be ignored here. In the similar way, we have uh, another null value. So this null value also, it doesn't contain any matching record when any other record. So this is the final output for inner join. So we'll get uh, two records. So we got only two matching records from the table. So that is about a uh, inner join. Next, we're having a left chain. So we'll see how many records we'll get for a left chain. Uh, basically, left chain, uh, it gives matching records from both the tables along with the non-matching records from the left side table. So we are considering a table one as a left table, table two as a right table. So non-matching records that are left over from the left side table. So all the records will get. So it is nothing but a combination of a inner join plus non-matching records. Non-matching records from left table. Okay. So inner join in the sense, um, the matching records from both the tables we have already calculated. Okay, so one is having a one matching combination, and uh, the next record one is also having a matching combination. So this we have already find out. So we'll take a uh, this as a matching records. Along with the matching records, we'll be getting a non-matching records from the left side table. Now one having a matching combination, the next record one also having a matching combination. Now the records left over are two null null. So two null null does not have any matching combination on the right side table. So these two records will get as a part of a 
non matching records that are left over in the left side table okay so this records will get now uh, all this data belongs to uh, left chain output so two matching records and uh, three non matching records so total you will get a uh, five records for a left chain so for left chain the answer is five so that is on a left chain now talking about right chain so right chain basically gives matching records from both the tables along with that non matching records that are left over in the uh, right side table okay so this is like a combination of uh, inner join along with the uh, non matching records from the right side table okay now so inner joins uh, inner join output we have already calculated the matching records uh, we'll get a two records as a part of our matching records these two are matching records we have already find out along with this uh, matching records we'll get a non matching records left over in the right side table now if you have seen uh, already uh, one is uh, as a part of a matching combination now the left over values we have is a 3 and null 3 and null does not have any non matching like any matching records so these are the two records that are left over as a part of a non matching record in the right side table so this two records as a uh, left in the right side table so 3 and null will be coming as a non matching records so for right join we'll get a total four records two matching records and a two non matching records so we'll get a total four records for a right join that is about a right join now we'll also talk about a full join okay so full join is nothing but combination of all the matching records from both the tables along with the non matching records from the left side table and the non matching records from the right side table so all together will get a result as a full chain okay now matching records now matching records we have already find out so we have our two matching records on this uh, uh, joining a table 1 table 2 so these are the two records okay on uh, that is on a matching records now apart from the matching records we also have non matching records from left side table that also we have already find out two null null are the non matching records okay so that also will get as a part of full chain along with that we'll also get a non matching records from the right side table as well so that also we have already calculated three and null are the non matching records from the right side table okay so these together we call it as a full chain matching records from both the tables non matching records from the left side table and non matching records from the right side table so all together this is a output of a full chain so we'll get here total seven records two matching records and five non matching records so that is the output for full chain now in the similar way if we talk about a output for cross chain now what cross chain will do actually here so irrespective of this uh, column values what it do is uh, it will try to give uh, it will try to match each and every combination it will give the output for each and every record okay now we have one here record one this uh, one will be joining with all other three records so one record into three so we'll get three records next record also so this record also will be joining with all other three records in this way each and every record in table 1 will try to join with the other uh, records in this uh, right side table will get the output now we have here five records 1 1 2 0 total we have five records 5 into 3 5 into 3 total will get a 15 15 records will get as a part of this so for this record will get a 3 combinations and for this one we'll get a three combinations for two we'll get a three combinations for null we'll get three combinations for the next null again we'll get a three combinations so each record will try to join with the other three records from the right side table so that's on a cross chain so uh, the 5 into 3 we'll get a 15 15 records in the output so this is the output for inner join 
left chain, right chain, full chain, cross chain. So this many records will get for each and every respective chain. We can also execute these queries in uh, SSMS and uh, we'll see how uh, we're getting output in SSMS. Yeah, right now you see we have a table one, table two, and we can see result over here. Um, this is the result of our table one. We have ID with a one, one, two, null, null, and the table two with a data ID one, three, null. So let's start doing inner join first. So we'll join these two tables based on the ID we're having. So let's do inner join uh, table one, inner join table two. Uh, we'll be joining based on ID. Okay, so let's execute the query. Now we can see the result. Uh, we got uh, two records. The same thing we have discussed. Uh, we got uh, two matching records for our inner chain. Now in the similar way, we'll check for a left chain as well. So table one, left chain, table two, on ID. Let's execute this query. Now see, we are getting a five records. First two records are matching records and the next three records are non-matching records from the left side table. So we got a five records for a left chain. Similarly, we can cover for right chain as well. Okay, so table one, right chain, table two, and ID. So let's execute this query. Now for this uh, right chain output, we got a four records. First two records are uh, matching records and the next two records are non matching records that are uh, left over in the right side table. So that's on our right chain output. Now in the similar way, we'll be checking uh, output for full chain as well. So let's execute a full chain, table one, full chain, table two on ID. Now you can see uh, we are getting total seven records. First two records are matching records from both the tables. Next to three records are non matching records from the left side table. And the last two records are non matching records from the right side table. So total we got are seven records. Okay, so that's on a full chain. Similarly, we'll be doing a crash chain as well. Uh, table one crash chain table two okay so let's do a crash chain table one on table two let's execute the query now you can see we got a 15 records so each and every record try to join with the other record in the right side table and we'll get all the combinations available here okay so these are the 15 records we have that's all on the sql join uh, we have covered uh, how many records we'll get for each and every chain. I hope uh, you understand the concept. Uh, thanks for uh, watching the video. Please like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more such uh, intro questions and answers.